Hi readers and writers, are you ready to get learning today? Today we will be setting purpose, reading our new engagement text and decodable reader. Materials! Let's get our thinking caps on. Are you ready? Here are today's three learning targets. Using evidence from the text, I can answer questions about the story, Pat's Donut. I can read high frequency words and words that don't play fair. And I can read the decodable text, Pat's Donut. It's time to hear a story, a story, a story. It's time to hear a story and say what you've learned. Read aloud. I am going to read our new engagement text, Pat's Donut. Go ahead and get comfy and listen to this story. When we're finished, I will ask you some questions. Here we go. I helped Grandad sweep acorns and fall leaves from the big front porch. That made Grandad very happy. He said, close your eyes and open your hand. He gave me some money. Then I had an idea that would make Pat feel happy too. I found Pat out back. I said, I have a secret surprise for you, Pat, and it begins right now. Close your eyes and let's go. I held her hand. We walked down the sidewalk to the corner. I stopped at a shop and I opened the door. Pat was right behind me. Smells yummy, said Pat. I said, open your eyes. The secret is the donut shop. Pat clapped her hands and ran inside. I got a muffin from the bin. I asked Pat, do you want a bagel or a donut? Pat looked at my muffin. She was silent for a moment. Then she said, a donut. She got a donut from the bin and held it up. Look, it's a circle, like a zero. She smiled, but then the donut fell out of her hand and landed on the floor. Pat was so sad. The baker came around from behind the counter. He said, Pat, close your eyes and open your hand. Then he gave her a new donut. The baker was her hero. Pat was glad, and I said, Thank you. The baker had a big grin. Pat had a big grin. I had a big grin. Now I didn't have to buy Pat a new donut. The baker was my hero too. Question and answer. Let's talk about this story together. Why did the person telling the story get some money from Grandad. Mm -hmm. He helped to sweep the acorns and leaves off of the big front porch. What was the secret surprise for Pat? Mm -hmm. The character took Pat to the donut shop. And finally, why was Pat so sad after she got her donut? Mm -hmm. She dropped it on the floor. Transition song. It's time to learn high frequency words together. It's time to learn the words readers and writers use a lot. Word work. Let's take a peek at some high frequency words that you will use a lot in your writing and you'll see a lot in your reading. Here's our first word. Hmm, that's right. This word is do. We reviewed this word last week. This high frequency word does not play fair. 
we've talked about how words with an open syllable have a vowel that shouts its name and has the long vowel sound. So it seems this word should be do, but it's not. The O says oo. Say it with me, do. Here is our next new high frequency word. This word does not play totally fair. The first syllable plays fair. That syllable is B. And the E has a long vowel sound, just like we would expect in an open syllable. But the second syllable does not play fair. The I makes a long vowel sound, even though it's part of a closed syllable. The second part of this word is hind. If I put the syllables together, I have be, hind, behind. Say that with me, behind. Here is our next high frequency word, and it does play fair. The first syllable is B, an open syllable with a long vowel sound. And the second syllable, gan, has a short vowel sound because it's closed. Put those syllables together and we have B, gan, began. Go ahead and say that, began. And our next high frequency word also plays fair. It has the same open syllable at the beginning, B. You'll hear that long vowel E. The second syllable, gin, is closed. So the I has a short vowel sound. If we put those syllables together, B, gin, go ahead and say it. Uh-huh, begin. And here is our last new high frequency word. This word is thank. It does not play fair. It's a closed syllable word, but the A does not say the sound ah. Say this word again with me, thank. Nice job. We will look for those high frequency words in today's story. Read aloud. This is our story for the week, Pat's Donut. And this version is full of words that you can decode and some high frequency words. As we're reading today, touch your nose when you hear one of our new high frequency words. As a reminder, the words are do, behind, begin, began, and think. Let's get reading. I had a secret for Pat. I held Pat's hand. Let's go, I said. Did you spot any words on this page? Me neither. Let's keep reading. Pat was behind me. The secret was the donut shop. What high frequency word did you find here? Mm-hmm, behind. I got a muffin. Do you want a bagel or a donut? Said the baker. Did you spot any high frequency words on this page? Uh-huh, do. Pat was silent for a moment. Then she said, a donut. You're right. There weren't any new high frequency words on this page. Pat began to pick up the donut. Then it fell. Pat was sad. Did you see any words here? You're right, began. Then the baker was a hero. We said, thank you. What word do you see here? Mm-hmm, thank. The baker had a big grin. So did Pat. 
I was glad. Thank you for helping me read this new decodable text. Closing Reflection Fantastic work today, readers. What tools did you use to help you read our new story, Pat's Donut? I hope you are thinking about decoding words with open and closed syllables and searching for new high frequency words. I'll see you here again for our next lesson when we will continue our work with words with open and closed syllables. Until then, happy reading and writing.